Historic hand recount here in Georgia. The move meant to reassure voters of election accuracy. This announcement comes amid accusations of mismanagement, voter fraud, and transparency issues. Tonight, the race in Georgia, still too close to call more than one week after Election Day. President-elect Joe Biden leads President Donald Trump by more than 14,000 votes in our state. CBS 46's Brittany Miller digging into details of this recount. What have you learned, Brittany? So while Republican leaders say that this recount by hand is all about accuracy, tonight I talked to a constitutional attorney who says this is about obstruction. Hundreds of Trump supporters standing on the steps of the Capitol Wednesday. Also at the Capitol Wednesday, Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger announcing a recount by hand. It will be an audit, a recount, and a recanvas all at once. It will be a heavy lift, but we will work with the counties to get this done in time for our state certification. Constitutional attorney Paige Pate says the recount has nothing to do with accuracy, but obstruction. We've got two uh, sitting United States senators who've called for the Secretary of State to resign. The governor's already raising issues about potential fraud in the vote, so they're setting the stage to contest the accuracy of the vote, no matter what happens in this recount or audit. If the results aren't certified by the state deadline of November 20th and sent to D.C. by December 8th, then the governor and state legislature can step in, according to Georgia law. The state legislature, which is controlled by Republicans, can say, wait a minute, we're going to certify our own set of electors to vote for President Trump because we think these ballots should not be counted. Pate says by law, the governor can then ignore the popular vote and sign off on the electors who will ultimately vote for the president in Congress. And the attorney says this situation is just a possibility. It doesn't normally happen. Now, we also spoke to Democrat Stacey Abrams about the recount today. She says she does not believe the recounting of votes will change the election results here in Georgia. She also says she's really focused on raising money for the U.S. Senate runoff elections. We're live in Midtown. Brittany Miller, CBS 46 News. Brittany, thank you. And 